They are those good. <laughs> All right, today I'm going to um, outline some main facts why Gatorade is considered America's top energy drink over Red Bull. Um, start off with uh, Gatorade. Um, it has its ingredients, it has an average of 13 grams of sugar, 63 calories, a serving size of two and a half per container. Um, Red Bull, it has lots of caffeine, vitamin B, sucrose, and glucose. And uh, when it comes to Gatorade, um, it has many flavors. Any one that you want, I'm sure they'll have them. Red Bull, uh, they have limited flavors. I only heard of one, well actually two. Um, Red Bull had an incident um, in 2009. They discovered that it was exported from exported from Austria and it contained traces of uh, Coke in the can. Not Coca-Cola, but crack. Um, 11 of the 16 states in Germany banned the drink and they were trying to put a worldwide ban on the Red Bull due to this incident, but they didn't have enough crack to uh, have a narcotic effect, so they dismantled the uh, worldwide ban. And um, due to people, many uh, people were concerned because of the Daily Telegraph. Red Bull has um, have triggered a heart condition to a student, which caused the death of and a 20 year old, a 21 year old woman who was constantly mixing Red Bull with vodka. So I guess that didn't mix too well. Um, in uh, Barrington, Illinois, they have a Gatorade Sports Science Institute, which they uh, have a goal to share, share current uh, information to expand knowledge on sports nutrition and exercise science to enhance performance of athletes. And in this institute, they have over 110,000 members doing their job to, to ensure you best quality in your energy drink. A published review. 2008 said Red Bull said Red Bull causes an effect on blood levels that messes with the blood function and this can help start coronary artery disease and that leads to my other facts, fun facts. <coughs> Gatorade was introduced in 1965 in the University of Florida by medical researchers and they invented the Gatorade shower in 1985, where if your team wins, it will forth douse the coach with Gatorade. And you won't find it's worse that they douse the coach with Red Bull. Um, <laughs> Red Bull was introduced in 1987, and Gatorade has, Gatorade has many variations of similar drinks like the G2, Powerade, G Series, and their own Propel Fit water. It also made Gatorade gum, called Gator gum. Red Bull doesn't have gum. Uh, Red Bull was in many appearance events, such as video games like Orange 3D and Wipeout XL. And uh, we all know Gatorade's been the main attention, like commercials, for example. We all know who dominated the league in their prime. <coughs> they featured this player, RJ, you know who he is. Yeah. What's his name? Jordan. Thank you. Correct. <clears throat> and uh, Red Bull, they don't really have someone to exploit their campaign. All they have is cute uh, cartoon commercials that uh, their main slogan is, it gives you wings. Um, that's cute. Uh, Gatorade is uh, known for their slogan, is it in you? That means it shows, it's, to me, that slogan, it shows me, like, courage, is it in you to win? Is it in you to strive to win? I mean, it's just a good slogan. And it, um, and as a result, I got that if you buy Red Bull, this product, many people can argue it's a good stimulating energy drink. And some like it for the taste because it believes it gives you energy to be active, but believe it or not, you're being ignorant because it's probably the Coke talking from the drink. <laughs> but uh, Gatorade is probably by far the best energy drink of its liability of health issues, energy, the taste, the flavors, the ads, the slogans. And it leads me to my last part of Gatorade.
Is it easy? The no white one. <laughs> All right. So, Ritz, what did you think? Oh, well, pretty good. <laughs> it's a little bit longer, and, um, should look at the crowd more, audience more. So it could have looked up more and it could have been longer. Nothing about the uh, introduction or the thesis or the organization or the visual materials, all the stuff we talked about. The, I, the attention device of taking the drink, that was kind of fun, and we know what your topic is. You actually have a pretty clear thesis statement point that you're going to try and make during the speech. I'm not exactly sure why these two things are being compared. I'm, I wasn't under the impression that Red Bull was treated the same way as Gatorade as a, a sports drink. I know it's an energy drink, but I wasn't sure that people used it. You know, Like you said, you never see people doing the uh, Red Bull bath at the, at the side of the football game or passing out the Red Bulls to the players on the uh, court there at Staples Center. So I, I, I'm not sure why those are the ones that are being compared. Uh, and I think you need to give us a little explanation of that. There's no preview of what the contents is going to be. There's no setup of what the structure is. And that becomes a problem later on because although I think you've got some interesting information in the speech, you just seem to kind of bounce from one idea to the next. And it doesn't appear uh, to be coherently structured and put together. It's just random pieces of information. Uh, you have a couple of citations that are, are vague, but uh, you do tell us that according to a published report or according to uh, an example that happened someplace. So there's a little bit of citation of the information. I think you could be a little bit stronger on that. Uh, the explanations are, okay, you, you create a little bit of interest with the stories that you tell and some of the incidents that you mention. Uh, the fun facts are, in fact, fun. You know, it's kind of nice to know when the Gatorade bath was started, and uh, I'd like to have a little bit more context on that. Uh, the thing about Red Bull, for instance, I think that uh, you've got a dramatic story about the woman mixing her vodka and the Red Bull and the problems that uh, came up there. I, I think a source citation would be good on that. The visuals, basically what you have is the bottle of of Red Bull, which you probably, or not Red Bull, but uh, Gatorade, which I guess you carry with you most days anyway. So it's like, oh, I gotta have a visual aid. Let me pull the thing out of my back pocket that I'm gonna be drinking from later on, and I can put that up there. It doesn't really show a lot of planning, and having to write on the a whiteboard, I think, is also problematic. Uh, you just lose a lot of opportunities to create more interest and uh, inform the audience by not developing that a little bit more. I, you you have a good voice, you project well, uh, but you need to do a few things to. Form formalize the speaking situation. You need to take off the hat. You've got to stop leaning on the podium. You've got to look at the audience a little bit more. We're going to work more on um, presentation issues on the next go-round, but those are just a couple of simple things. All right. Thank you very much.